Who wouldn't fall in love with faces like these? But who would do this in order to take a little dog home? It was a big mess in here. Glass was broken everywhere. Um, puppy crying, scare. Watch this. Just after 2 a.m. Wednesday, a white Honda Civic actually rammed the front glass door of Bo Lee's pet store. Then a man ran into the store, jumped over a low fence to break the glass of a locked display case. He left a huge mess, but Lee is mostly worried about the little Yorkie taken from inside. Did he eat yet? And he's traumatized. Did he have glass in his face or he got cut? You know, you don't know. It took Lee and her husband hours to clean the store up. Once they looked at security video, Lee knew exactly who the puppy napper was. Here's the man in the store the day before. Both Lee and her helper noticed him right away. He looked pretty, like, odd, to be honest. He wasn't like the average customer. He looked like he was looking for something. The person that broke in knew exactly which puppy he wanted because he went straight to that window. The car in the security video was apparently stolen. It was found in a parking lot two blocks away. Once Lee learned of the car, she called the detective back to her store. And the officer came back here and I told him the guy had tattoo all over his face and he showed me a picture and that was him. All right, well, I talked to that detective and he says, yeah, he's pretty sure the guy who came to the store yesterday is someone that is pretty well known to the sheriff's deputies. However, he's not yet convinced that same man is the one responsible for stealing this puppy's little brother. Meantime, Bo is less concerned about getting that puppy back, more concerned about whomever is treating or how that person is treating the missing dog. So she's worried about the well-being of the Yorkie. Reporting live in La Mirada, Susan Hirasuna, Fox 11 News.